Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Trade with Precision free newsletter. You are speaking with Hao from the Trade with Precision trading team. Today, I'm going to look at three forex pairs that I think offers potential trading opportunities for the coming days and even weeks. First, I'm looking at the New Zealand dollar against US dollar. What I'm looking at is from the monthly chart first. Monthly chart, this is still in a very strong bearish trend. And this month, the price, even though we still have one more trading day to go, but the price on the monthly chart is already almost confirmed. It's going to be a, a small bearish, uh, not small, but bearish candle inside the moving average sell zone on the monthly chart. So this is a great indication telling me the price is more likely to continue move lower from here. Then what I can see is on the monthly chart, the next big support level is nothing until 6,000. So this is quite a big potential move to the downside and something around say 700 pips potential window. So that's why it's a great chance or great opportunity for me to look for a short trade setup. Coming down to the daily chart, what I do see here is a trend has turned into a downtrend of the daily. Price made lower high, price made lower low. This is a inage downtrend and plus the moving average on the daily chart 10 20 50 also already fading down which confirms the current trend is very very strong and what's more what is supporting my potential trade decision is this 6700 level this is the big psychological level and also a major support resistance line on the daily chart that has been clear um, two days ago which, which is uh, last Friday has been has a strong breakdown today the price came back retesting the same level and confirms resistance again that's why I'm stalking an entry from a lower time frame on the say 4 hour chart or a hour chart so let me use the 4 hour chart so 4 hour chart the channel is also very 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 strong then moving average 10, 20, 50 or is also fanning down. So what I do see here is the price has is now pulling back into the moving average sell zone on the 4 hour chart. So the key level I'm stalking is this O support line which is on the 4 hour chart. So quite close, a little bit above 6700. So over the over the coming 4 to 8 hours, this is, this is going to be key. If the price continue to reject the price above this 6705 level and confirms to me a small bearish candle inside the moving average sell zone on the 4 hour chart, this will be a potential trend flow strategy to the short side on New Zealand dollar. So that's, that's why I'm looking closely for this one. Next one I'm looking at is Euro against US dollar. This one is also a very strong momentum. First looking at the monthly chart, this is a range bound market, there's no doubt about that. Top of the range 1.15, bottom of the range 1.05. The price is now moving towards the bottom of the trading range. Then coming back to the daily, what I do see here is a change of trend, lower high, lower low. So this is a downtrend right now already in place for the uh, on the daily chart. So the next major support is around here 1.10. So this is a major support level on the daily chart. So this is a 100 roughly a 100 pips potential 140 pips potential window to the downside before it, it hits the major psychological level of 1.1. So that's why this is a good chart to, uh, to keep a close eye on. Then coming down to the time frame, similarly, I will keep, I will keep an eye on the 4 hour chart. 4 hour chart, the trend is also very, very strong. The price, what the price is doing right now is testing this localized resistance level. So, one, two, over the past eight, uh, eight hours, the price is already confirmed resistant around here. So just waiting for the coming four to eight hours if the price continue to reject the price above this 1.1137 level and re shows me a small bearish candle again here then there may be a potential trend flow setup to uh, to the downside. So first target 1.11 and next target would be the big psychological level on the daily chart 1.10. This is Euro against US dollar. 
Then the last pair that, un that is under my potential uh, stalking list is GBP JPY. So this is not a trending market. So first sign, this is not a trending market. But on the monthly chart, why why it caught my eye is on the longer term time frame, 160 level. This is a major support resistance line. It's also a psychological level. Level one, two, three, four. This is the fourth month in a row. The price just holding strongly above this 160. Plus this month is almost a, a strong. It's a very very strong bullish month this month. So this all telling me some strong buying is coming coming in underneath. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm how I'm stalking entry is based on the daily chart. So first I do see here is a quite a perfect flat level has formed on the daily. First test, second test, now the price is on a third attempt. So I'm waiting for a potential break up for the uh, for the pound yen. So how I'm stalking an entry, either the price consolidate for one or two more days with small candles, then there may, may be a potential momentum breakout strategy to the upside. Or if the price breaks up straight away in the coming one or two days with strong momentum, then I would trade it on the pullback to retest this 162.70 level. Then once it confirms support from say some each other time frame like 4 hour chart or even 1 hour chart, then I can trade to the long side using whatever strategy I have because this is a big bottom and once it breaks out of the of the of the bottom this is going to be a very poten good potential move to the upside so the next uh, resistance is around 170 another psychological level so this this is a very good uh, profit window to the upside yeah hope that helps everyone and have a great trading week